Well, ladies and gentlemen, so here I am in front of my house and just uh, absolutely doing nothing. <laughs> I actually put a post on my Facebook page today like, you know how in the morning for literally till like 1 p.m. I just zone out. I don't do anything. I don't want to do anything. <laughs> I, sp I talk to my best friend in California all the time. I'm like, yeah, I don't know what it is, man. I, I wake up and I, it's not like I'm lazy or anything. It's just I don't want to do anything. I just want to be still. And sometimes I just come out here in front of my house and just sit on these stairs and just love the fact that I can zone out, absolutely not do anything in this life and I don't have to suffer any consequences of it. Somebody's not in the office watching me and saying that, okay, I'm gonna have to fire this guy. I'm gonna have to let this guy go. I'm just so blessed to be in this situation, to have this freedom to do such things. So it's amazing. So anyway, guys, today we're gonna be talking about Rahu in Ashlesha Nakshatra and what happens when Rahu is in the nakshatra of Ashlesha. And if you do not know where your Rahu is placed, if it's in this nakshatra or not, you know, what house it's in, all the other planetary placement and details. For that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, including my books, astrology, conjunction, and aspects of the speed of light, including all my consultations here. And remember this month on September 21st, pretty much the morning of September 22nd, uh, my book is coming out, Mahadashas at the Speed of Light, so you can understand what Mahadashas are in the most simplest, easiest form. Okay, so let's talk about Rahu and Ashlesha. So, Rahu, or first of all, Ashlesha is a nakshatra of polarity, meaning this is a nakshatra that is poison and medicine mixed in one. This is poison and medicine mixed in one happening towards the end of Cancer Zodiac sign. Ashlesha is symbolized by two serpents, two serpents wrapped around a cross. Where have you seen this uh, symbol? Anytime you watch the news, I like your regular news, whether it's India, whether it's United States, whether it's Russia, anytime they talk about the medical field, they take this symbol of two serpents wrapped around a cross, which is a symbolism of the fact that serpents are going to the bottom of the problems and taking the poison out, healing. Ashlesha is really the nakshatra of healing. Even though it's serpents, serpents is simply the symbolism of extreme mystical, occultic knowledge through which you can heal other people's poison. These were the serpents known as the, the Nagdevta. And these were the serpents that actually took the poison out, then giving the poison in. Okay. However, with the change of times, with the coming of greed, with coming of you know selfishness, what happens is people started using this energy of Ashlesha Nakshatra for injecting poison, leaving the victim so they can grab everything that they can. So this Nakshatra not only is, an, is no longer just considered a Nakshatra of uh, revealing you from your problems. It's not about sucking the poison out, it's actually now putting the poison in too. Depending upon how a person's uh, planet is placed, if moon is placed here, how it's situated. So. This is a very powerful nakshatra for people who like follow the world of occult, magic, follow the, you know, the world of, you know, pretty much medical field as well. Yet there is this serpent energy in this. What is a serpent does? It hides, right? It hides for that victim, the little mouse to come nearby and bam, gets it. So energy sometimes of these people become extremely secretive, intense, greedy, 
lustful they are the people who will be the most quiet in the office or the most quiet in a party but they're somehow in the back and manipulating things that are that is happening around them so now you're bringing this energy of the snake head rock the head of the serpent itself the energy of Kalyu, the energy that wants to consume that wants to get everything for itself that wants uh, you know uh, pretty much the energy that is never fulfilled it is that obsession within us Rahu is that obsession within us like let's say I am obsessed about astrology okay have been for a while but what happens is due to this con uh, this energy of obsession I'm never satisfied with how much I know about astrology I always get obsessed okay I need to know this I need to know this what is this how does it work okay kind of drives you crazy and it does I sometimes just that's why I have to sit out here and just do nothing for the first six hours of the day because I get so consumed with my work that mentally just you know um, becomes very heavy for me so Rahu here most definitely is going to bring its cunningness into play this is the nakshatra where Rahu uses its poison and its ability to strike for its advantage these are the people who can either be very lustful like you know a woman who kind of just looks at you with her eyes and you just know she wants you sexually and no and let's say you are a very rich guy and she seduces you at a party and you know you want that woman and you get it you fall in love with her but what she's doing she's trying to use you for your wealth that you have say the same thing happen vice versa a good looking 6'2 handsome muscular guy who looks nothing like me he's sitting at a party and he looks at you and you fall in love and he shows you that he has Mercedes and he is doing everything uh, you know greatly and you want to get ma get married and you marry this person you find out that everything is on debt everything is on loan they're not even working you know why because somebody I know very close to me exactly this happened and when I looked at his chart he had Rahu in Ashlesha Nakshatra so this is why I kind of always wanted to use this story with this Nakshatra because what happens is that Rahu is a planet that confuses you that misdirects you sometimes from your true dharmic path and so if somehow Rahu and, and remember Rahu alone in Ashlesha may not necessarily bring these feelings although on a foundational level many people who have this may not ever agree with it because they know their true nature might come out they might deny it saying well I'm not like this well most definitely most of the time they are but specifically when malefics are conjunct or aspect Rahu like Mars and Saturn then that energy becomes a little bit more malevolent tamasic in nature although this is a nakshatra which is more sattvic sattvic and rajasic meaning it has the main quality of it is to heal and to take that poison out the rajasic energy comes is the enjoyment you get from healing other people but Rahu is this malevolent energy this tamasic energy that is using the sattvic sattvic and uh, rajasic energy and influences them eclipses over them so even though this person might be doing good even though this person might be a great doctor but what the thing is internally they simply want to accumulate money so you may see people like especially nowadays if you go to a doctor the first thing that they do they want to prescribe you medicine like I went for acne just like four months ago okay and the doctor didn't even look at me for more than 20 seconds or 30 seconds she's, she was just like oh okay here you I'm like don't you aren't you supposed to take me to a specialist a dermatologist recommend me or just give me this and taking that medicine gave me like 20 different side effects because what happens is because of my one of my friends is in pharmaceutical industry where they get so many kickbacks like if you sell this many medicine well you'll get a courtside seat to you know a Lakers game you'll get this bonus and that greed comes into play when that Rahu is in this Lashina Nakshatra. So a person is healing, but at the same time, a person is very concentrated on its ability to grab that money and put it in his mouth. 
which is the energy of Rahu. Now, if let's say Rahu is not being manipulated, Rahu is actually conjunct Jupiter. These are the people that can make great healers, astrologers, occultists, people who have, who go to the bottom, the down below, the, the well below, which is so deep that that's where all the secret lies. And the serpents go around, serpents go deep inside, take those secrets and bring it out. So this is a very, very positive, but also quite a malefic nakshatra because of the fact the nakshatra itself is pure. It is us who make it impure. It is our doing that makes it uh, um, uh, quite a, you know, a negative nakshatra. But it all depends on, you know, how this Rahu is placed in your horoscope. Okay. And Rahu, as you know, is the significator of taboo foreign things, tabooic energy. So Rahu in this most definitely, I would probably say 10 out of 10 times, this person will somehow either be interested in black magic, occult, mysticism, numerology, astrology. They may not even tell you, but they're probably into it. It has to be. Especially if, let's say, Rahu's right on your head in the ascendant. Or Rahu's in the eighth house. You know, that's where this can really show its effect. Okay. So guys, this was my analysis of Rahu in Ashlesha Nakshatra. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. Again, if you want to know where your Rahu is placed, on um, your other planetary placements, my books, reports, consultations, for that, check out the links here. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. I gotta just waste time here. Another hour or two. Okay.